So, so Adam uh, was really after me to bring this production to Blank Slate Theater for a few years and, and truly I kind of avoided and dodged and ran away from the idea because um, it, 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 it terrified me. It wasn't until I saw the show produced in Texas with a young man who also had autism and was able to speak with his family and him about the experience and then to really step, step back and go, I know it's safe with Adam. Autistic License has been produced since 2005. This particular production that we're doing at Blank Slate is unique and special because for the first time, my son has actually stepped into the role as himself. I've worked with Jordy since he was 14. So about six years I've worked with Jordy and he is an incredible person to work with, pers uh, actor to work with. Um, he, is, he projects so well on stage. He is so energetic he, and on stage, he's so inter interesting to watch. Working with Jordy is a hoot, really. Um, he's one of the nicest kids I know. He's funny, intelligent, and uh, when he gets on stage, he's there to work and doesn't goof around. And... We have tons and tons of stories about Jordy that, that I tell to all my friends, and he's just a joy to be around all the time. What's your favorite part about the show? What's my favorite? I love all parts. What's your favorite scene so far? I love all scenes. This process for me has been really, really interesting. It's been kind of an adventure. I've really discovered a lot about myself, learned things. For me, the process of autistic license has been, um, it's been different than other plays because I know that everything in this play has really happened. It, 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 it's fun being in my mother's play. Um, but it, it, it's also kind of weird because it's kind of like the, some of the scenes, it's like, oh, didn't we just do that at home 10 seconds ago? I have some pretty strong feelings on it because I myself am also autistic, so it's gonna be a fun experience just to see what it is on the other side, if you would. Looking at the different types kind of makes me realize how much I don't know about it, knowing that there's high functioning and like all of the different ways that the children, you know, react to their environment and the people around them. Well, being autistic is interesting. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to explain to someone, you know, something that they can understand, like, you know, the classic, explaining to a blind, blind uh, person what the color blue is. But it is sort of uh, interesting at the same time to view how other people view people with autism. I mean, they're the stereotypes, they're dumb, they're stupid, they always ask the same question over and over because they're dumb and they can't remember. It's actually been really hard. There's a scene where there's a shopper and she was being awful, awful. So I really want to try to show people a side that is really kind of horrible and in hopes that they will not ever do it themselves and kind of prevent that.